And today we spoke to the family of Francis McKinnon, the man Thomas James was wrongfully convicted of murdering. Our team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn with their reaction to this. Jacqueline. Yeah, Francis McKinnon's family members say that, you know, his loss has affected them for generations and they thought that his case had been resolved. Now they think it's incomplete. My first reaction was why? You know, it was a little bit, it was a little bit of anger because it was like we heard it on the news. That's what happened when Francis McKinnon's son, Charles, first heard about a possible exoneration in his father's murder case. His father was a decorated Vietnam veteran. He was a decorated Korean War veteran, suffered from PSD, and he was shot in his own home. He does not want an innocent man behind bars, but he also doesn't want his father's case to be unsolved. If they, go, if they would say, look, here's DNA evidence that puts him somewhere. That's what we've seen in these other cases of this type in the past. I'd be like, fine. But what we're going on here now doesn't seem to have that type of um, gravity to it. Doesn't seem to have that much weight to it. Charles was joined by his brother Samuel in echoing sentiments that the state failed them. So now you're telling me that we've lost 30 years of potential investigation with Saul this, uh, and I just have not had any confidence in terms of them assuring us that due diligence will be done to bring resolved to my father's case. During the hearing, Charles McKinnon voiced his thoughts to the judge. Although I'm not an expert in this field, it seems whenever someone has been exonerated after such a long um, prison sentence, there's a little bit more substantial evidence than just a polygraph, which I do know is inadmissible, and um, a recantation of a witness that made a positive ID on the stand. For the family members of Francis McKinnon, this is not an end for them. The primary suspect that they never brought into custody, uh, that he's passed, uh, with some other concerns that we've heard. Uh, the fact now that we've got 30 years of lost uh, opportunity to go back and really actually do a thorough investigation of what occurred. Uh, we've lost witnesses. Witnesses have changed their mind who have now become elderly. And his sons, they have a lot of questions. One of them being, did their father's killer ultimately get away? In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.